Welcome back to Sports on Tap. Yeah. It's our high school hockey Hell coverage yeah. here on so Mixler. I'm, a, I'm assuming you like that song. I mean, I dare anybody to listen to that song and not bob their head. I mean, who would want to go like, see Justin Timberlake when you have listen, Sean that is a Duffy sore, That is a home. sore subject in the Duffy household right now, yeah. and it's about to be a sore subject in the Troutman household as well. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> I, can make it a, I can make it a sore subject. Nope. Okay. You're good. <laughs> well... You know, I love to talk about Justin Timberlake. Me but too. doesn't. But, but we have high school hockey to talk about in the Red League. Yes, we do. Um, you know, we talked about the white uh, division, the north and the south. And uh, we had Steve Morris on, the head coach of the Amherst Comets. want to thank him for First joining us. First place in the yeah. white sat north. White north, yeah. Amherst you almost said south. Yeah, I almost said south. But, but yeah, they, sure. you know, what a great season they've had. And, and, and all overall in that white uh, league, what a tough league it is. Um, They're and, all, and we really, yeah, they really are. And then you look at, you know, this red uh, league here, yep. and you know, you, Shaker Heights, they've been good for a long time. They're seven and zero, oh, fourteen points in first place um, in the red league. Then you have Rocky River at five and two; they have ten points. Men are at four and three, and you know, talking to Joe Simon, he said that's a team to watch out for. Um, they've lost; they lost their last game, but. Um, have continued to to stick around right there. Um, well, real quick, Rob. Speaking of uh, Joe Simon, we got to remind everyone exactly. that you had a, yes. you had an opportunity to talk to him yes. uh, yeah. last week. Um, and that interview, if you have not heard, is on our website, sportsontappodcast dot com. Tom, sorry, I had a Jesus. brain fart. It's re- our website. We forgot yeah, it. Yeah, no, I did. I, I'm not going to well, speak for you. But guys. no, he looked. But no, he looked at me with for help, and I I had <laughs> nothing for him. Well, did, I wasn't even aware he was talking to me. <laughs> you could go on our website, like yes. Josh said, um, or you know, on YouTube. Yep. Um, we archive all of our podcasts and shows, so you can go back and listen to uh, all these interviews and shows right there. But it was a fantastic interview, and thank you. One of the things that you know, um, as you mentioned, Joe Simon did mention Rocky River by name because yeah. they're a good. Th- I mean, they're a very good team. But you look at that Red North Division; they got Shaker Heights, they got Rocky River, Menor. And and tied with Menor is Kenston, and, and right now those are your top four getting into uh, the 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 Baron Cup. Uh, and then in the South you have North Olmsted, Strongsville, Midview, and Solon making up the top four right there. And and again, uh, you know I see a lot of things there. And one of the things I see is a lot of Southwest Conference in that in that uh <laughs> in that in that South Division uh, with North Olmsted, Strongsville, and uh, Midview and and Solon. So. You know, a lot of parity there. A lot of good teams uh, that are that are really starting to step up. You know, one of the teams that I that I'm kind of f- high on is Shaker Heights, just because they're scoring an awful lot of points and they're not and they're playing really good defa- defense. They have a goal differential of 18. They've it had 26 goals they've scored and only given up eight in league play. That's a pretty good dominant defense, and that's pretty. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's very good when you look at, you know going into a Baron Cup because if you're able to play solid defense against your league mates and against your other teams in your league, you set the precedent for what each team can expect coming out. And it's very clear that Shaker Heights is a well-coached team that attacks the net and really al- does not allow a, a lot of uh, in, you know, penetration into their zone, which is, again, very helpful, especially to kind of keep their, you know, the old adage, keep your foot on, a, on their neck. So that they do, they don't they don't feel the let up and and I think Shaker Hearts is a team that not a lot of people want to play going into Baron Cup one, uh, but on the flip side you look at North Olmsted I, I think that Red South is a really competitive league and there's no real dominant team North Olmsted's you know in the one seed right now there but I, I could really I mean any one of those teams uh, there's not a lot of separation you it's know it's gonna be yeah it's yeah. gonna be interesting I mean there's only a point that splits um, a lot of that. Um, division up and then you you look at the player statistics there's one guy that really stands out on North Olmstead Riley Vertosnik and I mean I'm, I might have said his last name wrong and I apologize he has 26 points on the year 19 goals and seven assists and that's just in league play yeah and, and most of, most of it is actually from the Red South you know you yeah. see Midview uh, N- Nick Berlotti right there with uh, 16 points then Kyle Matson from Strongsville with 14 points at 10 goals and four assists. So the top three scores in this league are from the south. But um, And it's interesting that you don't see um, Shaker Heights right at the top, but I think 
you know, you have a lot of really good play. And then you see Maxim Ellers, their goaltender from Shaker Heights. Um, you know, he he's only uh, had seven shots, but he blocked all of them. He, he's played one game. And then, um, you know, I, I think they have another goaltender that usually uh, plays the majority um, of the minutes there. But Shaker Heights, all from top to bottom, they're just a team overall that, that plays together. They yeah. don't have uh, guys – I mean, some guys stand out yeah. and then – you know, as a team, they just play really well together. Well, the thing, what that tells me, Rob, is that there's no one particular score that everybody on that gets out on the ice for Shaker Heights is, and has the ability, whether it's defenseman, whether it's a forward, whether it's a center, that can get in there and really put the puck in the net. And that's something that's very, very, you know, good to have, especially in a in a Baron Cup situation, because now you can't. I mean, you can't. Again, I'm I'm a novice to this sport of hockey, but if you know who your top goal scorer is. On, on the opposing side, you're going to obviously pay more attention to that particular goal score. But if you have a team like Shaker Heights where it can come from anywhere, you kind of have to be s completely fundamentally sound defensively. And you also have to make sure you have constant awareness of where that puck is because you, you can't relax if a defenseman has it or if somebody, you know, s anybody has the ability to put that puck in, in the net at any point in time in the game of hockey. But it's even more so to me. In on the Shaker Heights team, and I'm not saying this is the Shaker Heights is unbeatable. Certainly, they can be beat, but you know, obviously, the fact that that one there's not one player in the top ten in points in the league right now doesn't necessarily spell doom for Shaker Heights. It means that they're a well balanced team that can score from any position on the ice. Yeah, and as we're looking at you know the last couple of weeks of league play here, it's going to be very important because. When it comes to the Baron Cup, this is Baron Cup 1, and unlike the other two, the blue and the white Baron Cups, Baron Cup uh, 2 and 3, you know, um, the top four teams in each division do make um, uh, do make the Baron Cup. However, they're all seeded together, 1 through 8, instead right. of 1 through 4 like the uh, other two. So um, uh, th this is where it's going to get, you know, points. Every point matters, and, and every win matters, mm -hmm. and we're going – to the end of league play because seeding I think is very important it's a little different um, uh, the first and second seats of Baron Cup one are from the Red North then the third and fourth are the first and second place of the Red South and then from there um, they alternate uh, going on from there so uh, it's going to be important seeding is going to be very important in this Baron Cup I believe and and like you said as of right now uh, we're looking at the standings uh, Shaker Heights um, so far is is the number one seed followed by North Olmstead. So as if the playoffs were to start today. If they started right now, which that's where it would be. Which there's a few more weeks left, and, uh, you know, they're coming off of a 3-1 win versus Menor, and their next game um, is against Kenston, which they have beaten them uh, once this year. Yeah. So um, interesting in the Red League, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to see how that one uh, shakes out.